All right, in honor of Hanukkah, uh, as part of the new holiday styles, um, I've created this new light to menorah style. Um, and there's going to be multiple variations on it. it. They look the same, but they have different interactive capabilities. Um, and I also set it up to be right-handed or left-handed. Um, hopefully my Google research is accurate in that you're supposed to light from right to left. Um, so if you're right-handed, it'll light from the hilt side up. And then if you're left-handed, so if you were holding it the other way with the hilt on that side, it would then light from the tip down. Um, and I'll show that. Um, and I've made a few interactive capabilities for you to choose what you want. So it starts out, it's a blue and silver blade. Um, so there's um, eight silver uh, spots. And then the blue in the background has a little bit of emotion to it. And then the center is a flickering um, candle. Now you can edit the color. So the blue... And then the candle color is editable in edit mode, or you can select it in the library. Um, this one uses the interactive force effect. So every time you do the force effect, you're going to light up one of the eight candles. And as I said, goes um, from right to left, depending on right-handed or left-handed. So if I do the first force effect, so I lit the first, do it again. And then it'll go all the way through. Now it'll hold those colors as long as the preset is active. If you cut power, if you change presets, it does reset. So now we've got the four. And you'll want, I just chose a default font, you'll want maybe some sound effects for your force effect if you're using it. And then this would be the last. And so now these would stay in this flickering effect. Um, it's a little washed out on camera, but essentially you do have the spacing with a kind of a flame-like flicker on each one of these. Um, in right now, I think it's in orange, but you can edit that color or pick the color. Um, and then if you retract and ignite, Oops, I changed presets. As soon as I changed preset, it resets. So this is going to be a left-handed version, and this is an interactive version using Clash. Um, so exact same blade style, but what will happen now is every time I Clash, and essentially it would be for left-handed, so I guess we can flip it. So if I was left-handed, which I'm not, and we had it set up like so. Now it'll light right to left again, but based on being left-handed. Uh, camera's not the best spot for this. Bear with me one second. So then, clashes. So now it lights up from right to left. So you get the idea. It's a little harder to reach this way. And then the last one. So that is the left-handed version, meaning if you held your hilt with your left hand, it still keeps the lighting in the correct order. Um, and then this one uses interactive clash. And we'll show. If you retract and ignite, it will hold those colors um, until you change the preset or cut power. So now we'll go flip it back to the right-handed. kind of centered all right and then this is the third interactive version so this one uses a swing um, and it's going to be a little tricky again at this camera angle but basically every swing will light a new candle so so there's one it looks better when you're down so the first one and then second so you get the idea so they're all essentially the same style the differences are going to be right-handed or left-handed which is just the order in which they're lit and then the actual interactive effect. Um, and right now there is the force effect, uh, clash effect, and then swing. Um, and so you can choose those. Um, one thing, these are very. This is a very complex style. I wouldn't recommend uh, building a large option style with this. I would set this kind of up as its own preset, um, just because it, it is actually a pretty complex style to have the interactive plus all these individual sections controlled. Um, but other than that, hopefully uh, you all enjoy. So. Uh, Happy holidays, everyone.